Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. All right, y'all. Um, y'all know I've been away for a minute, and I come back to some news that is just really, really hard to take, but I'm used to it. Yeah, this is one of the puppies, um, by the way, they're two weeks old today. Um, and uh, I'm using him for therapy right now because I just found out what happened to my brother, Grandmaster J. Those of us who have been down this road before, we've seen the games. We know um, how they they play okay so now he's been brought up on federal charges I guess of um, some trumped up craziness that happened I guess September 4th yeah I know uh, September 4th and saying that he pointed a gun or something at somebody with a flashlight on it. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, your eyes are open now, huh? Yeah, your little eyes are open. So you can see, huh? You can see me. I'm really disappointed. I don't want to say an awful lot right now because there's not a whole lot of details out, but what I can share is this. Bull crap. I, I will share this. September 4th now. Remember that. Uh, this was taken, this is a top story, okay? Um, it's and This is from Louisville, Kentucky. A leader, the leader of the Not Fucking Around Coalition, a black militia that demonstrated in Louisville last summer um, during the un, social unrest, was arrested Thursday on federal charges. John Johnson, 57, commonly referred to as Grandmaster J, was charged with assaulting, resisting, or impeding certain officers or employees, according to the court documents. Okay? Now, listen, listen to this craziness. Listen to this craziness. Johnson is accused of pointing a rifle at Louisville Metro Police, as well as federal officers on September 4th, the night before the 2020 Kentucky Derby, according to a probable cause after David. Oh, you really upset, huh? You want me to put you back? All right, all right, all right. Because you just uh, off the chain. I'm going to put you back. Okay, I'm going to put you back. Again, um, Johnson is accused of pointing a rifle at Louisville Metro Police officers, as well as federal officers on September 4th. October, November, December, okay? At that time, an M LMPD radio transmission went out notifying officers that a group of six to eight heavily armed individuals were parked on Armory Place, a parking garage um, near a private parking garage, according to court documents. Two federal officers and three uh, Louisville police officers then went to the top of the nearby Jefferson County Grand Jury Building to watch the group. When they got there, they leaned over the roof. Three of them were blinded by a flashlight, the affidavit claims. Investigators say that the flashlight was on the end of a rifle that Johnson was pointing at them. All of the officers identified the suspect as Grandmaster J. All officers advised that they were concerned Johnson might intentionally or even accidentally discharge around at them. The probable cause after David states, uh huh, probable cause. See, that's so, you know, hey, very, that's why we rescue you. We got probable cause to believe that you, you know, you, either intentionally or accidentally, you would have discharged around at us. All officers recognized that the distance between themselves and Johnson was well within the effective range of the AR platform style rifle. Two of the officers were wearing soft body armor, but were aware that soft body armor would not stop a rifle round. 
Jesse Halliday, a spokeswoman for uh, LMPD, met with Johnson and another member of the group about 30 seconds after the incident and later identified Johnson from surveillance video, according to the documents. Johnson was, Johnson was booked at the old Oldham County Detention Center just before 1 p.m. Thursday, officials said. If Johnson is convicted of his charges, he faces a maximum of 20 years in federal prison, according to a news release from the United States Attorney Russell Colby's office. Here in Kentucky, we rever we our First and Second Amendment freedoms, not foolishness, which puts police officers and protesters at grave risk, risk Colby said in a news release. Now, ain't that something? This is the state attorney general, Russell Coleman. Now, they mad because of what this guy did. Roughly 200 members of the NFAC were in Louisville on Derby Day protesting the, uh, over the death of Breonna Taylor, a black woman who was shot and killed by white police officers during a March 13th raid on her apartment. So this is the retaliation. Let me tell you something, first of all, to the members of the NFAC. I'm speaking, I'm a little older than uh, Grandmaster Jay. I'm a few years older than him. So I know all these tactics just like he does. And I'm sure that he prepared y'all well for when the time that the devil would come and pull this move like they've done to so many others before. From Marcus Garvey to Elijah Muhammad. Uh, to I mean, basically everybody that has tried to stand up and help black people, either they have gotten um, a bullet in the head uh, in, uh, or they have had their character assassinated. And they have been put in jail uh, and pretty much vilified. It happened right here. This is This is political activism now. At its best. So those of y'all who want to be involved in politics, this is what it does. It will have the fans come pick you up and arrest you. I've been there, done that. The only thing we can do as black folk is to support Grandmaster. We have to support him. And so for those of y'all who say that he's an agent and he's a, you know, this is what he is and all that, I don't even want to hear it. This is a black man that has put his life on the line to protect us like no other group ever has. And I'm not going to kick that black man while he's down. But what I will say to you is what we should be gathering right now. We should be gathering right now. We have seen too many of them take our soldiers. We have seen too many of it from Fred Hampton. Do I need to say more? Should I go on? Should I go on? I've been praying for that brother all night long. Because I'm not ashamed to pray. And I've asked some prayer warriors to pray with me for brother uh, Jay. Because what he's going through right now, I know exactly what he's going through right now. And what he needs to know and what I'm hoping that was stressed to all the members of the NFAC is that this day was going to come. And y'all job is to stay on task. The state don't wild out. Don't get crazy. Stay on task. And whatever mission that y'all was given to, in preparation for this day, follow it to the fullest. Whatever it is, follow it to the fullest. Because I know from everything I've heard from the Grand Master, is that he knows that things have to be done in decency and in order. And from what I've seen in terms of him registering his for permits to do open demonstration just like the Proud Boys and all them other guys, he's dotted his I's and crossed his T's. He is a military man. So now you want to play him like that, huh? Because of his diligence and his beloved uh, uh, caring for us as black people. So you want to knock him down a peg or two. This is what you do. This is what you do. This is why they put Mike McGee in federal prison. This is why they, they put... Listen, this is the blueprint for these 
demonic um, vampires. These, this is the blueprint for these um, energy oppressors. Okay? They didn't like the, the movement and the energy that Jay was storing up. So they have to do something to knock him down a peg or two and to get y'all and us disheartened. Oh, but I'm not in no way discouraged. And I hope, I hope that for those of y'all who call the man an agent, those of y'all who were straddling the fence, you need to see now that the only allies he really got is us. It's us. I heard that um 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 he's in the um old what is it um what I just read the old um oh god what is it called where they got him housed at the Jefferson County no the the, the uh, old Fordham County jail or something to that effect is where they have him um and I don't know how long that they're going to hold him. I don't know if there is a bail being set. But I guess there is a number to find out. Um, and I'm going to give you two numbers because I don't know which one it is. 502-222-3502. Uh, 502-222-3502. And one eight seven seven nine nine eight five six seven eight. That's one eight seven seven nine nine eight five six seven eight. But those of y'all who are in the area of the Kentucky, uh, Georgia, uh, any of those areas, the South, check on your brother. Inquire about your brother. Uh, let let uh, bombard the, the 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 telephone lines to see if there is a bail posted and when will it be? Uh, because we got him. We got him, right? It's time to put your money. Where your mouth is. And it's time for all of y'all that's doing all this begging to get up off of there and do something to get our brother up out of here and up out of this situation. All right. I'm going to stay tuned. I mean, I'm going to keep my ears pressed to the concrete. And if anybody uh, reports anything else, I'm going to do my best to bring it. Uh, Cause right now I'm just, I'm just supremely disturbed by this devil. So with that being said, y'all, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'm gonna see you in the next video.